In a world without graphing, where substitution has gone by the wayside, only one thing can save us. So, solving systems by elimination works because adding equations maintains equality. Check this out. 5 equals 5 and 2 equals 2. Alright, where are you going with this? I'm going to show you. If we add these together, that would be 5 plus 2 equals 7. And on this side over here, 5 plus 2 also equals 7. And 7 equals 7. Boom! So, if we add two equations, we can see that equality is going to be maintained. All right, here we've got a system that we want to solve by elimination. 3x plus y equals 5 and 7x minus y equals 15. All right, let's see what happens when we add these bad boys. We're going to get 3x plus 7x. That's going to be 10x. Then we've got y minus y, which is going to be... Eliminated. Y minus Y is zero. That goes away. Then we've got 5 plus 15, and this is all going to equal 20. Solving from there, dividing by 10, we'll get X equals 2. Now, just like we did in substitution, we can take this X equals 2 and whoop, plug it right in to solve for our other variable. That's going to give us 3 times 2, plugging that 2 in for this equation right here, plus Y equals 5. Solving from there, 6 plus y equals 5, times the 3 and the 2. And finally, we'll get y equals negative 1. Remember, when plugging this in, you can go into either equation. And this system has a solution of x equals 2 and y equals negative 1. Here we go. We've got 5x plus y equals 9 and 10x minus 7y equals negative 18. Let's go ahead and add these guys together. We've got 5x plus 10x. That's going to be 15x. We've got y minus 7y, and wait a minute, y minus 7y does not eliminate the y variable. That would be negative 6y, but we've got a problem. We didn't eliminate anything. We can't continue. Okay, here's what we're going to do in this case. If we ever see that something is not going to eliminate, we can multiply an equation to make it so that something does eliminate. So looking at our equation here, I can see that if this was a plus 7y, then the negative 7y would eliminate the y variable. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to multiply this top equation by 7. That's going to give us a 7 times 5x, 35x, plus 7 times y, 7y, equals 7 times 9, or 63. Now let's take our new equation, combine it with our old one, and let's see if we can do anything from there. Adding these together, we're going to get 35x plus 10x, which would be 45x. We'll get 7y minus 7y, and success! That y value eliminates. Now we're going to get equals 63 minus 18. 45. Solving from there, we're going to get an x value of 1. Lastly, to solve the equation, take that 1 and plug it into whichever equation makes your heart happiest. Doing that, you're going to get a y value of 4. Notice using the same equation, we could have also multiplied this first one by negative 2. That would have given us negative 10x minus 2y equals negative 18, which this time would have canceled out the x's, which is perfectly fine, giving us negative 9y equals negative 36, and a y value of 4, and then you could plug that in and solve for x. Either way, it doesn't matter if you choose to eliminate the x or the y, same process. All right, sometimes you're going to have the case where you've got a double dip, and by that I mean you're going to have to multiply each equation by something in order to cancel out your variable. In this case, we've got 5x plus 4 equals negative 30 and 3x minus 9 equals negative 18. Watch what happens here. We multiply the first equation by 3, that'll give us 15x plus 12y equals negative 90. Second equation, we multiply by negative 5, that's going to give us negative 15x plus 45y, and negative 5 times negative 18 is 90. Then we see if we add these together, negative 15x and the 15x, 
boom, cancel out, we add these, giving us 57y equals 0 and a y value of 0. 0 divided by 57 is 0. Now we can take this y value of 0, plug it in for any of our equations. Solving for x, we're going to get x equals negative 6. And we'll have x equals negative 6 and y equals 0. Again, you got to plug that in and solve. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I knew you were right. Believing for so long.